I love you, Colonel Sanders. A finger licking good dating simulator. Welcome, everyone, to I Love You, Colonel Sanders, A Finger Licking Good Dating Simulator. A game where we date the ultimate daddy. We have the chance to date Colonel Sanders. Before we get started, tell us your name. Chicken. Confirm. You sleep softly as the morning sun casts a warm glow through the window of your modest student apartment. The world is peaceful and serene. You could stay in this moment forever. Or you could wake up now, now, now! Your first day of culinary school is no time to sleep in! Smack that clock up and at him! Throw the clock out the window and stay in bed forever. Smack that clock, dude! Laying in bed, you stare at the ceiling. Thinking about everything that awaits you at the prestigious University of Cooking School. Academy for learning. Your mind begins to wander. You'll need to take this seriously. You'll allow yourself to daydream a bit, thinking about the future. You know what? Who will be there? What will you cook? What should you wear? Time begins to fly by. You find your imagination getting away from you. Let's relish in this a little bit. What will the colonel be wearing? Will he use wax in his sweet mustache? Do you think he'll look at me with those kind blue eyes and say, Hey. <laughs> you know Colonel Sanders' voice. It's fear, finally! Your first day of culinary school! So many dishes to prepare, so many students to meet, so many daddies to court. Your mind is swimming with possibilities when you realize you're running late. You grab a biscuit and burst out the door in a hurry. Mmm, delicious biscuit. I should have gotten some KFC for this video. It's 10.42 a.m. Nah, I could have done it. You're in such a hurry, in fact, that you forgot to put away, put on any deodorant before running out the door. You're sweating buckets as you rush to arrive on time. Standing in the quad, you gaze upon the magnificent university of Cooking School Academy for Learning, my favorite school. Here comes your lifelong best friend forever. Here comes your lifelong best friend. I did read that correctly. Miriam. Miriam. Oh, you're so cute, Miriam. She's the most adorably awkward person you've ever met, and you absolutely love her for it. Good morning, chicken. Are you excited for the first day of the rest of our lives? Yeah, that's the voice. Actually, I'm- Because I sure am! Excited! A little nervous, okay? Okay, a lot of nervous! It's just that this morning I made breakfast for myself. But when I ate it, I couldn't taste any love in the food. What if I'm not good? What if I fail? I hate this already. Not the game, me. <laughs> Classic Miriam, raised by Master Chef parents, she's always held herself to a very high standard. Ever since we were little babies playing- Oh, this is me. Ever since we were little babies playing together and you rescued me from that quicksand box, it's been clear to me that you're the most loving, caring person I know. You're gonna do great! But loving and caring doesn't mean a good chef, chicken, me. For the University of Cooking School Academy for learning famous three-day-only semesters, I'm afraid of being left behind and never catching up. A sweet girl, Miriam, has always had her flair for the dramatic. This summer, she's got so nervous about her first kiss that she chipped a tooth practicing on a mannequin. No, you don't practice on a mannequin, you practice on a pillow or your own hand. Watch. Pep talk your best friend or change the subject to school gossip. Should you pep talk her or change the subject to give her some relief? Let's change. Let's be positive. I don't know which one I selected. <laughs> it's hard to see Miriam like this and frankly quite exhausting. Rather than dwell on her anxiety, you try to change the subject to something more interesting. All summer you've been hearing rumors about a dreamy enigmatic mystery student who's enrolled at this school. Yeah, that's a little worrisome, but you'll be fine. <laughs> oh, what about this mystery student we, key we read about on the school message board? Any new deets? Uh -huh. Oh, goodness, I heard his name is Holland. He has no ordinary, he's no ordinary student. He's had the member since he was born. From an egg. He was born from an egg? Just like me! An egg? Like a chicken? Don't be ridiculous. I'm the only thing that's coming out of an egg. But that thing about having powers, it would line up with some of the other rumors I've heard. Like I heard he once fought a bear with just his smile. You both sigh, thinking about a student so handsome that the laws of physics don't apply to him. Before you can get another word out, you're rudely interrupted when someone snacks, smacks your books and custom engraved measuring spoons out of your hands and onto the ground. Fucker! What are you doing? Watch where you're going! It's Ashley, your arch rival. She's totally evil, but you can't help but be filled with jealousy. You can't get anything. She can get anything she wants, and she knows it. She's 
kind of cute. Uh, hello, Ashley. Oh, I didn't see you there, chicken shins. You leave chicken shins. <laughs> you leave chicken shins alone. They're perfectly normal shins. They leave chicken shins alone. They're perfectly normal shins. Oh, you can't stand Ashley. Even her name is annoying. You know for a fact that she's that it's actually Ashley, but she had to add extra letters to make herself feel better than everyone. Huh? If anyone knows what perfect shits look like, it's us. We're not going to let you or your really weird insults get to us. Across the quad, you see Ashley's best friend, Van Van the Man Man. <laughs> I love that. Stop to look at his own reflection in the mirror. His pants are so tight you can see him casually working out his glutes while he styles his hair. No lie, they're rocking glutes. Him, <coughs> Van Van. You rang. Van Van, you're so- Wow! You've never been sure what their arrangement is, but as long as you've known them, Ashley and Van Van have just- have been just as close as you and Miriam, but substantially more devious. I can't believe that university school- University of Cooking School Academy for Learning would al ever allow people like you to attend as students. I know, right? You'd think they'd just hand us our diplomas now. Or maybe hire us as professors. You amateurs could learn a lot from us. With the first day of school about to start, there's just not time to properly tell these two off, so you resist the urge. Let's go, Miriam. Uh, see you later, brothers. As you approach the door, you see a goofy-looking kid pushing hard against the window directly next to it. Who are you? Uh, oopsie. I think it's broken. You reach forward and easily pull the door open. Uh, that should do the trick. I love you. I think you mean... Thank you. My name is Pop. I was named after my Pop Pop. He's old. Could someone like this also be a student at the school? He must be one heck of a chef. Also, his name tag clearly says Bob, but I guess he's reading it upside down. Hi, Pop. I'm Chicken. So, are you going to make me hold this door all day? Nope. And with that, the young man walks into the building ahead of you. Look at this man. He got a kid. I think it's just you, Miriam. You both shrug your shoulders before following him into the building. Day. One, class starts. Let's go make some chicken shit. You stand at the edge of the room, unsure where to sit. Other students wander in and keep themselves busy chit-chatting. <gasps> a scruffy looking pooch takes his place at a podium in front of class. Adorable! Wow, he's got glasses! Now, now, quiet down, everyone. Who is this unreasonably cute pup and why is he in our culinary class? He must be Franklin, and the structure CEO of UCSIL. Please, call me Professor Dog. I may be cute and a little fluffy, but I still de demand respect. <laughs> Woof. What? A cute dog is our professor? This is the best school ever! I guess my only a dog's nose is capable of picking up all the nuances of fine dining. Out of nowhere, wind begins to rush around and you see a swirl of cherry blossom petals fill the air inside the classroom. Achoo! Someone shut the girls the door! <laughs> I literally read that like that. And then he walks in. Oh my god. You're immediately swept in the aura of this new student and his remarkable goatee. Oh, he's the student? He's not the professor? Who knew anyone could be so handsome? If it isn't my favorite student, Harland. Colonel Sanders interrupts Mr. Sprinkles. Sorry, Professor Dog, before he can finish his sentence. Please, call me Colonel. Colonel Sanders. A hush murmur rolls through the class. Colonel Sanders? Colonel Sanders? Colonel Sanders? Colonel, oh! Walks down the aisle of death. Suddenly, the room is sweltering. Sweat begins to bead across your brow. You feel like everyone is looking at you, and you're not entirely wrong. And this over here must be sweaty sweats a lot. Ah. Maybe we should open up the window back before faucet pits melts into a puddle and evaporates entirely. You both know my name. We're in the same kindergarten class. And what is with all your really weird insults? You're to find Colonel Sanders standing right in front of you. Oh, my God. Gosh, Colonel. Colonel Sanders, beautiful angel that he is, stands before you smiling gently. Boy, howdy, this classroom gets hotter than, than a Kentucky friar. Please, use my handkerchief. Oh, chivalry is not dead, Colonel. You freeze up. Colonel Sanders is talking to you. <gasps> oh, wait. Colonel Sanders is talking to you about how sweaty you look? You're completely mortified. This can't be your first interaction. What if he never forgets this moment? Take the handkerchief. Let's take it. You don't want to be rude, you know? You stretch out your hand, and Colonel Sanders places a fine silk handkerchief in it. It's so beautiful, you hesitate to press it against your face, but when you do, the feeling is transcendent. It's his natural scent on it. 
Smells of the most delicious chicken you've ever smelled. Professor Dog steps in to settle the class down and set some ground rules. Welcome to University of Cooking School, Academy for Learning, the greatest culinary academy in the world. Birthplace of culinary legend, past, present, and future. Uh, Many challenges await you. There will be tears, there will be blood, there may even be really adorable tiny food, maybe for hamsters. And when it's all said and done, there will be a battle. You will lift your sparks and compete in the broom cooking arena. Just then, another student enters the classroom and interrupts the professor's rousing speech. Hi guys, sorry I'm late. I hope everyone had a good summer. I really miss... Quiet! Late to class is bad enough, but interrupting my monologue? You're on the fast track out here, young man. Are you sure you're even in the right place? Uh, don't you recognize me? This is my third year at this school with you as my teacher. Everyone stares at him blankly. Does no one remember me? I'm... You're expelled if you utter one more word before I finish. That'd be a lesson to you students, that tardiness is unacceptable. Even Clank made it here on time, rolling halfway across the town on his tiny wheels. You turn to see the student Sprinkles is uh, referencing, who appears to be some sort of industrial kitchen appliance. Wow. We're the class bursts into laughter. Oh, he's so cute, though. Oh, Clank, you rascal. Sprinkles walks in the classroom as everyone stands in silent obedience. When he gets to you, he lifts his nose to the air and takes a deep sniff. <sighs> mm, your diet is lacking. Based on what I'm picking up here, you definitely need a multivitamin. You should be taking better care of yourself. Never had a talking dog as a teacher before, but Sprinkle's reputation for being smart but tough is well known. Beef treat, rubber ball, chicken snack. You decide to try and butter him up by giving him a treat from your pocket. <gasps> chicken snack, a bit of myself to give to him. You reach beneath your apron and return a chicken snack in your hand. Sprinkle's eyes go wide as he locks onto it. His favorite, yes! Well, 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 I think there might be some competition for new star student. <laughs> The furry professor immediately devours the snack, leaving your hand slick with a coating of warm doggy drool. You see other students eyeing you jealously, but pay no mind to them. If they wanted to succeed in life, they should have learned the importance of carrying a range of dog treat flavors on them at all times. Exactly, guys. Always keep various dog treats in your on your person. Settle down, young chefs. Take your seats to prepare to have your minds open to the amazing possibilities of culinary creation. As everyone rushes to claim their favorite seats, you're left standing at the front of the room. Only two options remain. <gasps> hey, chicken, still a seat here. Oh, wait. I took a left some place there. It seems that no one has claimed this seat next to me, if you're interested. <gasps> sit by best friend, sit by Colonel Sanders. Well, we gotta sit by our daddy, Colonel Sanders. I'm sorry, Miriam. You move to take your seat by Colonel Sanders. Oh, I betrayed her. I betrayed my best friend. It appears he brought no books, pens, or pencils. However, his perfect upright posture shows off a seriousness that makes you confident in his desire to learn. Thanks for offering me the seat. I've only had two rules. Do all you can, can and do it the best you can. It's the only way you'll ever get that feeling of accomplishing something. Oh, that's so inspiring. A little off topic if you ask me, but okay. As soon as you settled into your seat, the professor makes an announcement. Think fast, it's time for a pop quiz. Yay, quiz about me! <laughs> this incredibly important and surprisingly short quiz will tell me if you're ready for life at culinary school. Keep your knives sharp and your focus sharper. Here comes question number one. If train A is traveling to point B, and train B is traveling to point A, how important is it to wash your hands before cooking? Extremely. Looking at you, Pop. Exactly, that's right. Forest is to tree as chicken is to feather. That's right. Sprinkles, what is the most efficient eating utensil ever created? A spork, a meat tenderizer, and a comically oversized fork. I would say a spork because they, they, they talked about it earlier. That's right. What is the food best for a broken heart? Oh, anything as long as it's prepared with love and not too much salt. That's right. Pancake that looks like a silly face, camel meat. The first one. That's right. Is Sprinkles a good boy? He's talking about the dog that teaches at culinary school. He is the best boy. That's right. Perfect score. Five out of top five. Yes. Wow. Be honest. Did you cheat? You look up to see that Colonel Sanders is watching you tally your total score. He's impressed. I know we just met, but I have to confess. 
I think you have a beautiful brain. Oh my god, he's so charming. Hot diggity chicken! You just scored some major Colonel Sanders points with that performance. Hey, have your attention, students. I have an important announcement to make. Time for lunch! Ho ho! Wow, the cafeteria is just as nice as any restaurant you've ever eaten at. It makes sense that a school dedicated to cooking would be so serious about eating. Delicious fragrance wafts the room and tickles the end of your nose. Mouth waters. You smell awesome, but my lunch smells pretty good. Everyone, can I have your attention? Is it about lunch? No, I just want to apologize for my tardiness. You see, I was... Howdy, folks. I'd like to make an announcement. Hey, I was... It's about lunch. Everyone cheers, but I... Shh. Lunch, lunch, lunch. She said, shush. In honor of the new semester, I, I've prepared something special to share with everyone for lunch. Uh -huh. That must be the smell I smelled. Indeed, that smell. You hold your breath, waiting to see what food this mysterious student has created. You've heard he's very talented, but were the rumors true? Is this? Colonel Sanders lifts a large bucket above his head. Its contents glimmer in the light. Piled higher, huge pieces of chicken breaded and fried to a crispy golden finish. <gasps> the aroma envelops you, and you begin to feel warm and safe. Colonel Sanders had filled a bucket with chicken? A novel concept. Your stomach begins to grovel, grumble as if to say, Stop thinking and start eating. For years, I've been developing a secret recipe for the perfect fried chicken. By my calculation, nothing less than 11 herbs and spices are required to achieve the perfect balance of flavors. You look around and notice that every other student has a pen and paper and is scribbling notes as fast as they can. But that's all I'll say about that. What, you think... What, you think we want your stupid secret recipe, dude? Sean, I'm in it all. I'm just, uh, drafting a last will and testament in case, uh, one of those ingredients is, uh, poison got him! Ha <laughs> ha! He looks around nervously to see if anyone else is laughing at his sick burn. You wait to see what Zinger Ashley has prepared to follow up, but she suddenly takes a different approach. Yeah, and I was, like, writing it in my diary. Dear diary, today I smelled something beautiful. I know that that moment that it would be the hands of a true gentleman could try for a check inside time there. I can't read. You see her body language change from bitter and evil to sweet and innocent as she slides closer to Colonel Sanders. She realizes that he is destined for greatness and fame with cooking skills like this. She wants to have him all to herself. Well, Van Van the Man Man, if you don't want any, I'll take his. Well, hold on. I mean, I guess I'll try. Oh, wait. Oh, hold on. I mean, I guess I'll try it. He takes one bite and his brows grow wide. He starts contorting his face as he tries to hold in his pure exhilaration and act unimpressed. Easy now, there's enough for everyone. Please, my fellow classmates, dig in! Take one of the pieces of fried chicken out of his bucket and sink your teeth into it. It's amazing. Tasting Colonel Sanders' food transports you to another dimension. Alone with your taste buds, gripping a drumstick in your hand, you float weightlessly. You focus your mind and meditate on this moment. Try and identify every flavor. Savor the moment, and everything that tells you about Colonel Sanders' culinary heart. Swim t towards the light. Swim towards it. Somewhere up ahead, a bright light beckons you. The flavors are so intense, you become wrapped up in them. Unable to resist, you reach towards the light. He grabs your hand and pulls you closer. Closer. Until your fingertip connects with the end of everything. You are forever lost in the land of tender fried chicken bliss. Your mind dissolves. There is no chicken now. There is only herbs and spices. Oh my god, is that a game? That's the game! <laughs> that's so good! I love that game over! Ah, oh, that's awesome! All right, well, I am going to end this one here. And next time, we will try again if you want more. I had so much fun playing this. This is great. Colonel Sanders is a hot, hot boy. So, let me know what you thought about this. Let me know if you want more. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to slap that like button right in the face. And I will see you guys in the next video. Love you all. Stay cranky. Bye. What is up, my cranky crew?